Hey guys, welcome back. It's your boy Joby Styles. You already know what it is. And today I'm here with a special guest, my girl Santerica. How you doing or whatever? I'm good. So we're going to show you how we created these beautiful fall glamorous looks, honey. I went kind of fall transitional pastel realness when she just went all over fall 80s glam. If you want to see what this look is giving and how we created it, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and subscribe, huh? Go ahead and pour up. My glasses. So I'm like, why not have wine while you're having, you know, some nice quality time? You're talking about your life. You're doing what you do. You gotta release, you know. Crying. Crying. Everybody <laughs> crying for nothing, girl. <laughs> That's why you open up another bottle. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> Before we do this, I went ahead and applied Hydro Grip. I actually like putting the Hydro Grip, let it dry mm -hmm. like I already did, and then using the silk canvas on top to get that extra smooth, especially if a lot of texture like I do. Now the direction says to do a right size amount. I say fill in my pores. I can't. Okay. And just smooth that out onto the T-zone. Can you make sure you get where the highlighted areas are? Because I have texture there. And it, this like prevents it from touching. I'm just saying. I know how to do a face. Oh, there. sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I am so not used to people doing my makeup. Like, I'm so excited for this to be done. But you know when you're not used to something, you're just like, eh. <laughs> like, don't tell me how to do this. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna shut up. It. I'm gonna shut up. For foundation, though. Estee Lauder Double Wear. Now, I'm sorry to all my tree-hugging, bunny-kissing folks. Oh. However, Estee Lauder is not cruelty-free. Sorry, I saw that in a couple of different posts recently. This is just one of those foundations that has been around for a while. People swear by it, people love it. They exited their shades probably like a good eight months ago, mm -hmm. six to eight months ago. I didn't have a shade before, but now I feel like I do. But even now, we're gonna see. This might be a little bit too neutral for me, but y'all know, I makes it do what it do, baby. I'm gonna make it do what it do. Well, she's gonna <laughs> make it do what it do. And I'm gonna sit. I'm scared. I'm too actually a part of this. Lola's going crazy. You don't have to go in, and you know, a little bit goes along. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm just really gonna take this brush and just buff it into the skin. It feels really good. No, I actually like it. I like this brush. But and so, again, I told you I already used this. It's like the same one from the Elf. Yeah, and so you put the foundation directly onto the brush and then just put it where you want? No, I put it on the back of my hand and then I just take the brush and kind of... Oh, kind of dip into it? There. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to take the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. Yes! And this is in the shade NC45. Mm. So I like to use one concealer for coverage mm. and then another concealer to highlight. And so I'm going to conceal places like underneath the eyes or anywhere where I want a little bit of extra coverage. So you're going to be sculpting and lifting. Are you going to sculpt and lift me, honey? Lifting. I'm excited. And place that down, and then I'm gonna go with the sponge, the Morphe sponge, and blend it up. Okay. Girl. <laughs> so to brighten, I'm gonna go in with a shade that's a little bit lighter, and this is the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer in the shade Caramel. So this is now going to be more so just for brightening and highlighting, whereas the first concealer was to get a little bit more coverage. Okay. Don't poke me in the eye. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> she almost just did it. I'm just playing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm all sweating. <laughs> I get excited. To set the areas that I highlighted with the concealer, I am going to use the Milk Makeup Blur, Milk Makeup Blur, blur and set. setting palette. Yep, there you go. God. <laughs> that like took a while. It line. is a long name, Blur and Set. The Blur Setting Powder. I'm gonna use the shade Medium with that same Morphe sponge to set. 
And I'm using a lot of powder because I am a baker, but we're not going to leave it for too long. Now it's time to bronze and sculpt. And I'm going to start with the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzing powder and the shade Mahogany. Go ahead and show them. Go ahead and show them, honey. And I'm using the Sephora Collection, a number, the Sephora Collection number 49 angled brush. I'm saying show them the bronzer. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Dang. I'm sorry I'm not a YouTuber. It's okay. I don't know how to do this. I'll get you there, honey. I'll get you there. I have to get myself there first, though. <laughs> Okay, straight face. That's <laughs> right. So I'm just taking the bronzer just to add some warmth to the skin. Also, just kind of like sculpting. But this is also going to remove some of that powder. I'm still allowing this powder to bake because I I like more like contrast on the face, like shadows and light. So just right on the cheek, around the hairline area. Oh, so good. You want some? Mm -mm, I don't eat that. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Okay, so now to, <laughs> to deepen the bronzer and sculpt a little bit more, I'm going to be using one of the Fenty Beauty bronzers. And this is in the shade Mocha Mommy. So I'm just going to apply this. Um, Come on, Mocha Mommy. To define a little bit more. And I think you're bronze and sculpted. This is how I like to bronze and sculpt. After I add highlighter and stuff, I always go back if I need to touch up. Can you come into the camera? <laughs> <laughs> you repeat that, please. Because <laughs> all I saw was like lips moving. <laughs> Where's my face? <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's hurry up and do this so we get to the eyes. You're bronzed. Okay, so we're gonna get into highlighter. Word. What are you highlighting me with? Um, I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown highlighting powder, and this is in Bronze Glow. And I'm just gonna add that onto the high points of the face using the same angle brush. Just on the highest points of the cheekbone, temple area, brow area. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, he still saw one fucking nose. Oh. Best. Work! <laughs> no, I'm loving this highlight on my nose though. <laughs> I never highlight my nose that much. I like it. And my cheeks and match, which is bomb. <laughs> I love this Santerica. <laughs> All right, so it's time for the eye look. This is what you all have been waiting for, the fall eye look. Mm -hmm. So Santerica definitely slayed this face, I must say. I am going for the gods, and <laughs> I feel nice and sculpted, so thank you, honey. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so to prime our eyes, we're gonna go ahead and start off with the new P. Louise eyeshadow base. Well, they're not really new. They've been out for a mm -hmm. while, but I wasn't it like an overseas brand? Like, was it not in the U.S. or was it in the U.S.? I think it was in like, like a while ago. Somewhere, I don't know. But now they sell it in the Morphe store. I got shade five. They have about nine or ten shades. Shade five seemed like the color of when I use the Anastasia eyeshadow primer mixed with my concealer. It comes out to be about this shade. So I really wanted to use this eyeshadow primer because I've seen some phenomenal looks done with it. This is what it looks like. Are you okay? You good? Yeah. This is what it looks like. <laughs> so what kind of like fall look are you going to do? I am still 100% clueless onto what I'm doing today. I really don't know. I think I'm going to go really warm. Really, really warm? Warm, like, I don't know, warm, really warm tones. Oranges and stuff like that. I think I want to... Go transitional. What does that mean? I feel like fall <laughs> and autumn is very transitional. It's like one of the most transitional um, seasons because you literally see the changing of the colors. Mm -hmm. 
you know? So, and then it gets into winter, which it gets like no color. It's just completely white with snow and things like that. <laughs> so, what I feel like, I wanna do some lush greens, but I kinda also wanna bring in that really warm fallness as well. So I feel like I kinda wanna give you a little bit of all of that. So, we'll see how that comes out. We're gonna get into this Morphe palette. Morphe palette! Hey, hey, sister! I'm trying to get all these colors in there. Shroom, honey, shroom. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go into the crease with this shade here. And kinda of smoke it out. I'm gonna actually go with the shade next to it. I'm gonna go in with this shade here for my crease color. And I'm just really building that up through the crease. I am liking this primer so far. I feel like it picks up the color pretty well. Done deal. It's blending out. How do you like these Morphe shadows? Um, I like this color. It didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. It's not bad, like, I like the color, but. I see what it's doing though. It's a very cool brown. And that's why I used it for when I did the Smoke Sessions palette, because I felt like it was a very cool brown that uh -huh. works really nicely with greens. Yeah. But oh, I know yeah, you said you greens. were going more of a a warm tone, right? Yeah. No, this will work good with green, but I just thought, I don't know, that it was going to like, I don't know, maybe it's doing, maybe it's fine. It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to go with the shade right below that one. There. Yes. The shade. To deepen up the crease. And I feel add like some more color. I have a good amount of color going on right now. This is looking very, very fantastic. So, fantastic. Very fantastic, like Mr. Boombastic. Okay. I can't. So, <laughs> I really, like I said, I want this to be a very transitional look. So, I feel like to go ahead and mix it all up and deepen like my outer corner, because mm -hmm. I want to do that. I'm going to go ahead with this really dark emerald green here. It's not really emerald. What would you say that? A dark teal? Yeah. Yeah, like that dark teal. And I'm going to use more of like a pointed brush to really place the pigment where I want it. This is actually an old Dior brush that I used to, I mean, not that I used to have, that I have. <laughs> <laughs> I still have it. Dior has, actually has some really, really nice brushes. Uh -huh. All right, so what I did is I took the color and it's not as dark as I thought it would be, but it's okay, cause it's still pretty. <laughs> I very much took it up and did like- You said it's not as dark as you wanted to No, nah, it's not. It's very it's blue. It's dark. What are you talking about? It's not as dark as I wanted it to be. But I took it up to the crease, out of corner, and I just blended it into the center. I am going to take a smaller brush. This is another Morphe brush that name rubbed off, and we're going to blend that out just a little bit. And I think I am going to go in with this really pumpkin-y orange color right here. Whatever. Reminds me of pumpkin. I I'm gonna pumpkin blend that onto the lid. I am so like See. the basic bitch. I love pumpkin lattes and oh the pumpkin, just pumpkin spice. spice and everything. I love basic all that. Bitch. I am so about that life. Wait. All right. So Ooh, I'm okay. liking this so far. I'm gonna go ahead and commit uh, to it. This is different. I like it's gonna be fall though. I'm telling you, it is. Oh girl, I'm making it work, honey. I'm saying I know, I'm but like, sculpting and bringing it around because you know with these shades, it's not like a lot of other shadows where when you put it on, it just like softly lays. They slightly get darker as you blend it out. No, that's not even the problem. No, it's just like there's no pigment to start. Really? I feel like I have to use too much. Oh, I go in when I'm using these. Yeah, I like I really pick it up. Yeah, and I feel like that's what I have to do with with some shades, with some shadows. I don't. You don't have, have to. to. I get you. Well, it doesn't look like I have to use a lot of it. Whereas, like, if it was Anastasia, I literally just tap and then <laughs> give yeah, me Yeah, and I give you all <laughs> These you have to think of, like, paints get in there. So now that I did that, I'm going to go ahead and cut that crease. Cut that crease. Cut that crease. Cut, 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 cut that crease. I can't. I am going to add some shimmer. So to cut my crease, I'm going to be getting some more of that P. Louise base, honey. I'm liking the way these colors show up on this base, though. Even though it's not a super bright color, I still feel like my color is pretty vibrant. 
Me personally, I mean, I don't know what type of experience you're having over there, but what? I'm gonna use a flat brush to do this. As far as your color, your color looks pretty pigmented as well. Yeah, because I added a lot. Oh, well, I mean. Well, I'm about to do some liner. I'm gonna be using a little tiny Marc Jacobs highlighter in black. Oh yeah, I'm liking this for cutting the crease. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Work it out. I'm just doing some shadow underneath my liner to blend it out. I feel like on the actual lid, I really want to use this mauve color right here. I don't think it's oh, very Oh yeah, you said you wanted to use that. But I feel yeah. like it's really pretty, so I want to <laughs> use it. So I'm going to take a good amount on a nice flat brush and place that onto my mouth the lid. Alright, so now I kind of want to bring that Pat McGrath in. Yeah, bring Pat McGrath I'm picking up the green and I'm gonna focus this on the center of the lid on top now I don't know how this is gonna work out because I'm being very creative right now so let's just see how this works I don't know exactly how I feel about this <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna commit to it oh, what since happened? we're already there I'm just gonna run with it Oh, I love that gold. Oh, we are on two different spectrums of fall. <laughs> two different spectrums of fall. All right, for my under eye, I kind of want to use the purple shadow in the Pat McGrath. But first, I want to use that really, really warm shade I started off with. And I'm going to apply that first. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and add some of this Pat McGrath purple. And to I the bottom corner. I'm going to be using the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. Alright, so I can't find my regular Kush Mascara, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw my waterproof on. I felt like this look needed a little bit of a liquid liner, so I went ahead and threw on the Anastasia Liquid Liner. She's my G. I love that liquid liner. I don't know why, I just, I do. That and the MAC Liquid Liner are my favorites. And I'm going to be applying the Melted Matte Too Faced Gingerbread Man from their holiday collection. I'm going to do the Cork Lip Liner from MAC because Santerica said that would be prettier than the one I suggested earlier. Oh my god. I didn't say it would be prettier, I just said I like that one better. With the lip choice that you made. Mm -hmm. Alright, and for my actual lipstick, I'm going to be using Anastasia Ashton. That's a lot. Where the hell did you put your blush on like that for? <laughs> Come on, Mama Claus. Okay. <laughs> 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 and then I'm gonna take a little bit of the Leah gloss and work this in. I feel like I'm giving pastel fall. I feel like I look like 80s. You do, I like was totally telling you. Like Whitney Houston. It 80s. is, like I wanna dance with somebody Whitney. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed our nice fall looks. I feel like I'm giving very much fall, but pastel fall, transitioning tones. You know, I got you your green, but also got you that really warm brown, orange tones as well. I feel like you went full-fledged fall realness. Fall, 80s, glam. Yeah. Like... No, this yeah. is really gorgeous, and I'm really feeling like <laughs> the way this lip works with your blush and everything. Mm -hmm. That looks good, and the eye too. It all comes together. It's not monochromatic, but it's very much on the long <laughs> lines of that. And of course, I had to be extra, give them a slight cut crease with the super bright green transitioning with like lavender tones going through. <laughs> I mean, who does that but me? But then I got the purple sweater to go to match it though, so. I feel like it works. It no? works. Work it out. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this newness video. This foundation is still holding on pretty well as well, I will say. I feel like that double wear is doing its thing. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. It's all right. To. Well, please go ahead and subscribe. Please tell your mother, your sister, subscribe. your cousin, your auntie, your brother, your auntie, your uncle, whoever. Joey Styles is where it is. Until next time. <laughs>